All right, what's going on, guys? It's Maury from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Back at you with another blind review here. Uh, today I got one from the Ancient Ale series that Dogfish Head puts out. This is their Kvasir. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Uh, it's an ancient ale brewed with lingonberry, cranberry, birch syrup, honey, cranberry juice, and herbs. Weighs in at 10% alcohol, and with all that stuff going on, uh, I figured maybe it'll throw these guys for a loop in a blind review. So we're going to find out, and I'm going to bring them down. I'm getting lots of fruit of some sort. Almost like a candied orange or something. Like yeah, that. candied orange, candied fruits. Yeah. Almost, uh, almost getting almost like a wine barrel. Maybe yeah, there, there the may sweetness. be a hint of a barrel character on it, and it is, it is maybe a, a sweet liquor or a wine, or just a fruit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a very strong fruit aroma on this beer. Hint of a of a bitterness, maybe like a maybe a very faint hop, maybe a mm. faint earthy hop to it, but lots of carbonation too. But yeah, raisins, candied fruits, mm -hmm. maybe even a slight melon, like a honey. Yeah, all the different. Every time you get a, an aroma, it's a little bit different. Like real sugary sweetness. Yeah, just a, not a lot of everything, but you, it's all there. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> it is sweet, and it's, and it's it's much thinner than I expected yep. it to be just by looking at it, too. Yep. It's a lot sweeter than the aroma. I mean, it really it really hits your palate quick, but it does fade off a little bit. Almost a drying finish, but it's still real sweet. Got that same fruitiness to it. There is a, a, a dryness to the finish on mm -hmm. it, though, and it, and it again makes me think it's been barrel aged because there's right. a there's a slight oakiness to it. And there's not a whole. I mean, it's not like a real complex beer. There's a, not a whole lot going on. The flavors that are there are pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the fruit flavors. It seems like you know there's some sort of a barrel character. Maybe there's a kind wine of a, barrel, like a tannin on the back end. Yeah. That, that's 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 tasty and is desperately <clears throat> needed to help balance out yeah. the sweetness to yeah. this beer. Also has a nice effervescence on the tongue. It's a little bit, a little bit spritzy. It's a little, it is, little, yeah, real nice carbonation. Yeah, quite thin actually. I don't mm. know. Either you care to take a stab at the ABV? Man, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I'm not getting any alcohol whatsoever. No, no burn. Um, no alcohol taste. But seeming that it's seems that it's barrel aged uh maybe go eight i'm, I'm getting a slight tang on it, it could yeah. could signify some alcohol but it's it's between the sweetness and the the kind of not not a roastiness but the the, the bitterness on the back end mm -hmm. the, the tannin character on it it does well to cover up any alcohol if it is up there maury's Mystery beer. This is quite a mystery because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, just trying to pick out the actual uh, style of beer it is, is is pretty difficult. So it's hard to score a beer if you don't know the style. Um, it is a pleasant beer to drink. It's got the nice fruitiness. And you know, as Pat said, it does just have kind of like a nice a drier finish to balance it out some. Um, it isn't real complex. It's got a few different fruit flavors, cherry. Maybe melon, like he mentioned a little bit ago, and it's uh it was well carbonated. Uh, I think I'm gonna give this a 3.75. I'm gonna agree with Mark's score. It's pleasant to drink. It's uh, quite thin, uh, but like I said, effervescent on the tongue, so it's, you, you, your mouth stays happy. Uh, the nice mix of fruity flavors, kind of a candied character to it, but it seems like there's some barrel tannins or something on the back end that really. Yeah necessary to help round out the back end so it's pleasant it's nothing real bold nothing real in your face but it's it's a pleasant drink so i agree 3.75 okay uh this was this is from the ancient ale series that dogfish Dog Fish head. head does uh so but i think it falls more in the fruit beer category mm -hmm. so it's it not is there a kvass here it's 10 percent alcohol and it's brewed with 
lingonberries, cranberry, birch syrup, honey, cranberry juice, and herbs. So that's what you're drinking right there, fellas. Birch. Oh, pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Birch, yeah, there's so like I a think bunch of those fruits. Maybe are... the herbs and the tartness from the cranberry and the birch syrup maybe Give them finish the it off that dryness on the honey back end for you guys. Too, yeah. I like the finish on it from yeah. those things. How, yeah, it helps it out a lot. How on earth were we going to guess the style? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Huh, well, this is a pretty good one yeah. to review. It's fun. Very unique beer. Yep. Thank you very much. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.